Next, if I zoom out here, if it'll let me, we have the brush tool. Uh, the brush tool we're going to use all the time, but not so much for fixing photos. I just hit the D key, which set my foreground color to black, my background color to white. Um, the brush tool is its just a brush. I mean, there isn't really much to say. Uh, you can change brush size by clicking on this flyout up here and increasing and decreasing the master diameter, um, and also increasing and decreasing the hardness. But instead of using this menu here, I recommend using shortcuts. If you use the left square bracket, you decrease the size of your brush. You can see it changing up here to 10. If I use the right square bracket, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, I increase the size of my brush. Um, if I want to increase and decrease the hardness, I can go in here. Let's change my diameter to be smaller. Um, I can go in here and change it manually. Or I can use Shift, left bracket, and that decreases hardness. Um, shift, right bracket once, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So you can see this is actually a pixel-perfect um, brush, so it's, it's perfectly hard. So I'm going to undo those. And the main place we use the brush tool is when we've got a mask that we want to work on and we want to erase and bring things back, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. The pencil tool and the color replacement tool we don't use. Um, the color replacement tool has actually been replaced by the red eye tool in, I think it's, there's only the red eye tool in, uh, in Photoshop CS3, uh, and it works exactly like you'd expect. It finds exactly where red eye is on a picture, and you click a drag a box around it, and it'll just completely remove the red eye. Or you can just click right in the center of the red eye. And it'll fix the problem. Um, but let's move on to the history brush tool. The history brush tool is wonderful. If you open your history palette, uh, which is, again, right here, if you're in Photoshop CS3, um, you'll get little boxes right beside each of your history states. Um, so drag to the bottom of the list. Let's invert the picture. I'm going to use Control-I to invert um, this one. And what I want to do is just make parts of my picture um, back to normal. So I'm going to select this previous history state by clicking on the checkbox beside it, and you'll see that was this. So now, if I paint with the History Brush tool, it's going to paint back to this state. And it worked exactly like the brush did. I just paint out, and you can see these parts are now no longer inverted, because it's chosen this as my, as my history state. When you use filters, um, you'll find that there are areas you don't want to filter on your picture. This is one technique for undoing um, on only certain parts of your image. So I'm actually going to undo both of those and move on to the Erase tool.